Hey guys, Doug here again. I got a lighthouse on the brain this week and I whipped up uh, this little carving in bark with the lighthouse. I'm going to do another one in bark, but uh, I thought before I do this, I want to give you some beginner, beginner friendly little uh, carving to get you, get you hooked. And uh, I thought what would be the easiest way to, uh, to get you to carve a lighthouse and I thought hardware store dowels one inch hardware store dowel and uh, I whipped up a few of these and they're a real fun simple little little project and uh, yeah anybody can do this anybody can do this and I just tell you you're gonna get hooked whether you uh, want to put this on a keychain set it on your shelf you can uh, put a little uh, hook on the top and even a uh, like Christmas tree decoration and whatnot but uh, Real fun little simple project that uh, won't frustrate anybody. So there you go. And uh, let's just go ahead and make it. I cut uh, a six inch piece off the end of this and uh, just put a little cut in so I know I can do one on each end if I want to. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. These dowels are uh, normally, I think they're poplar or aspen or whatever, but uh, a little bit harder to carve than basswood, but accessible, I don't care where you are, probably downtown New York, you can find a dowel, but anyway, so this two three inch lighthouses here, and I'm just going to mark about a, an inch, which is, what's an inch? An inch is about, what's it look like, 20, 26 mil, but really simple little carve, so like I said, we're going to just do three inches. And one inch down all right and all I'm gonna do now is uh, run my knife around real fun little simple carve these little carvings too they're fun little uh, little memory makers you can just make it uh, on vacation or something to to mark a mark a memory but I just ran my knife around there and I'm just gonna do a very small cut to start with just to set in the uh, little shoulder and as you can see by looking at these guys, we're just going to work uh, on the bottom end right now. All right. So we're just marking in the shoulder. And then we're just going to do that same thing again, but now we've got something to, to go against. We'll go a little bit deeper. Just put it on straight in. Now we're going to cut against it and we'll clean it up after, but uh, yeah. Just over and over again, but now we're going to go a little bit lower and we're going to go a little bit deeper. Same thing, we're going to work all the way around. Just like so. Alright, you can see we're getting a little bit deeper. Run our knife around again, and this is the, this is the theme. Just gonna run our knife around every time, and every time we go around, we're gonna go a little bit lower and a little bit deeper up to the shoulder. I like these little little carvings that uh, don't require much thought, fun result, and. Uh, Keep your hands busy. Again, running around the bottom. Just making that little shoulder. All right, and then we're gonna go a little bit lower. Somebody asked uh, in my last video if I dubbed in the uh, the bird chirping noises and I did not. This is my backyard. <laughs> Especially in the mornings. Look at that. Now we're getting a nice little little edge on there. And guess what? We're gonna do it again. Just running my knife around, making a little stop cut. If 
we just keep turning it, we're going to have a uniform, uniform shoulder there. Just keep doing the same thing. Now, this is going to be our last one. All right, we're, we're about uh, a healthy quarter inch from the bottom, so now I'm just going to do, you can figure out what you want, but this is whittled, so we want the look whittled. So if we want to make planes, we can make nice planes that we can, uh, you can dry brush and uh, catch the corners. Or you can make little cuts and make it smoother. But whatever you do, I'm going right from the very bottom. One, one slice up. That's our base for our lighthouse. The bottom is pretty chewed up, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to clean it all up after. But what we're going to do here is you can see the little, uh, the little shelf, shelf, the little walkway for the, uh, the lighthouse. So it's going to put a mark right around a quarter of an inch or so, like so. All right, and guess what? We're going to run our knife around it. <laughs> Same thing, we're gonna start small. We just don't want to take the corner off the edge off the uh, the ledge, so we're gonna start with a small little slice just to set in that little stop. See that when you slip past it, you can take the corner off. Alright. And now we go again. Just set in that stop cut all the way around. Something else too, I know that someone's going to say that uh, this would be a good start to a chess set. I have no desire to do a chess set. Using a inch and three quarter, I think it's inch and three quarter, OCC tools knife. Okay, I've gone around once. Run my knife around again. Get that stop cut in there. All right, and down again. Oh, I should say too, we're just, it's halfway, it doesn't matter. You'll see, we're going to turn around and cut the other way up. So, you can go as high as you want because it's all going to be removed. Again, just running our knife around. If this is wavy, it doesn't matter because, like I said, we're going to clean it, clean it up, and we can make it however we want. I want it to look whittled, not from a laze. So I like a little bit of a waviness and facets. around. I'm going to take this off. We're going, in this case, it seems to be a little bit against the grain. You can see a little bit of a tear, which is fine. 
Like I said, I think this is, I think these dowels are poplar, but uh, they curve pretty nice. When you're looking at your piece of wood, you may see, well, I can't show you a knot because I don't see a knot, but oh, there's a little bit of a funny grain. That'll be, uh, that'll be, that'll be tough, to, uh, tough to cut, so work around the knots if you can. I'm just bringing this thickness from the bottom up, but even still, it's not very crucial at this point because we're gonna put in our little a little roof and we'll have to uh, touch this up again. All right, so I'm going to uh, come down probably a a healthy quarter, a little more than a quarter. You can see we're just setting in the, uh, this is the light. So guess what? We're gonna run our knife around it, <laughs> as we do. And now we're gonna take a little slice up, like I said before, Every step along the way, we're just going to set a small edge in. We don't want to get carried away with the edge. Get the shoulder set in first, and then we can work against it. All right. So, now we can run our knife in. You'll see we're coming back on an angle from the bottom, but don't worry, like I said, we're going to make that deeper in the bottom, so we're just going to turn around and work our way down after we get this set. So, simple, simple little steps, but I don't even probably have to explain it other than uh, we don't want any dead air. Who'd want to listen to these? birds singing without me flapping my gums, eh? <laughs> but imagine yourself sitting on a dock somewhere on your vacation, you, you with a little, little lighthouse and you turn around and bring it home and put it on your shelf and you can remember your, your vacation. You're sitting at the beach. Kept your hands busy. Okay, see that? Now, we can make a little cleanup cut on here. The platform would be nice to have a, a little rail around it, but we're going for a very, very minimalist whittle here. And on top of it all, you can, uh, if you want to take the time and you can make bricks or windows and doors and whatever you like, but we're sticking with a very minimalist whittle. Same thing on the bottom. Just cleaning the uh, edges that we bumped into with our knife. Give them a nice smooth bottom. All right. There's our, our lighthouse so far. So this is the fun part. Now, you know how I feel about sharp edges. So we're gonna go just a little bit above. You see that? We don't want to, don't come right down to make a sharp edge. Just working our way around. And if it helps, try and find a, a center if that helps. But if you do uniform cuts, it should pretty much work out. But just going around. 
See that? I got some uh, little white lines on that wood. That means I'm due for a stropping. But with 10 cuts left in the video, I'm not going to do it. But just so you know, when you start seeing those little lines up here, get on that strop and strop her up again. But the thing about the uh, not having a sharp edge is that that's a, always a break point, right? So we want to have a little bit of meat on the bottom just so we don't uh, have something that you can break and then this knife is not getting any better. But we're almost there. Almost there. And working around right to a point. And there you go. One little lighthouse. All right, just gonna cut that off. But as I say, you could put uh, you could put bars to separate like four four light panels. You can put windows if you got lots of time. Go around and you can put bricks in it if you want with a little V tool or a knife. But uh, yeah, simple, fun little carving, and. Uh, yeah, knock yourself out. Great little beginner carving. That's all I got to say. And uh, I like it. All right. There's our little uh, our little lighthouse before it's cut off. But go get yourself a uh, hardware store dowel. Don't talk to me about a chess set. But uh, fun little project. You can do it anywhere. Materials anywhere. Get yourself a knife carving glove would be nice but uh yeah something different lighthouse from a dowel thanks to anybody who uh went out of the way and bought me a coffee this week to support the channel i appreciate it and uh, never expect it but uh, certainly do appreciate it and we'll catch you in the next one where i may i may just do a lighthouse out of bark just for fun but let's see you next time guys